Hi, my name is John, and we're going to be looking at the Unify uh, controller here. You need to download it first, so we're going to go ahead and uh, head to our browser. Go to ubnt.com slash download. You'll find uh, Unify on the drop-down list here, and then we're going to go to, we have an APAC, so we're going to select that. We're going to do this on a Mac Mini, so we'll select Mac. It's a 30 meg file, approximately. Doesn't take too long. Once it's in the downloaded, Go ahead and get the installer going. <clears throat> We're just going to set everything up on the installer and defaults. It's going to drop it into our applications folder, which is done here. And as you can see, it doesn't take long at all. So we'll head to applications, scroll to the bottom, and load up the Unify app, uh, application. And as you can see here on the dock on the bottom, starts up the application, and then a little Java app will start as well. It takes about 10 seconds for it to get going and shows you the controller version once it's going and gives you the option to launch a web browser to take you directly to the page. This takes you to a 127.0.0.1 address, port 8443. That is the default for the local machine. Select our English, United States. Discovery automatically found our access point. And for the SSID, we're going to create just a simple WPA2 one. Copper Wi-Fi as our SSID. And we'll make the password copper1234. And just for kicks, we'll enable a guest access network as well. And we'll just make that copper guest. Click next. Next, we need to set up our uh, administration username and password for the controller. So we'll just use admin and 1234. Go ahead and click next. Here's a summary of all of our settings that we gave. And click finish, and that'll take us directly to the login. Go ahead and put admin in and just one, two, three, four. It takes us right in. And <clears throat> you can see here that we're working on the local machine. We are on 127001. You can see at the top. So if you want to go directly to the IP address that it's on our machine, go to System Preferences. You can see that we have a .47 address on our subnet. So if we copy that, <coughs> paste it, and hit Go, it's not going to take us to the controller. So remember, we need to put port 8443 in there. That's the default port for the controller. Get in, log in again, admin, and 1234. And we're in on the machine. Shows our access point. <coughs> if you have more than one access point, obviously it'll list from here. Shows the connections, speeds, capabilities, that sort of thing. Let's go ahead and connect ourselves to the access point. Bring up the copper Wi-Fi. Made our password copper1234. So we'll put that in. Hooks up pretty quickly. We have a refresh rate at two minutes, so Every two minutes, the, all the information will refresh. If we hit refresh, you can see that we are now connected to the access point and listed as a user on the list as well. We don't have any guests enabled. You can see, click guests, take us there. And then insights um, shows us that we're connected. Click through all the tabs here. As you get more and more connections, obviously you're going to have more data um, on the initial setup all the default settings, um, just getting one access point going, hooking one Wi-Fi connection to it. Pretty simple and uh, works really well.